G'day folks. Well, it's one of the new videos I'm going to make. I'm going to play with this uh, LG IntelliWasher direct, or well, not direct drive, but indirect uh, variable speed AC motor. I should have realised these are AC motors, not DC. They don't have permanent magnets. They have field windings. So you have to link the brushes through the field windings to get your speed. And I've done a bit of research and a bit of playing around, although there's nothing on YouTube to show how to wire these up. I'm going to show you. Now I'm using a standard power control panel here, 240AC, no capacitors or anything. Um, the power's off at the moment, but obviously I've got active going through blue. Alternating current doesn't really matter what your polarity is here. But one of the live wires is going through the blue lead second live wire is going through one of the brushes, which is the far side in this case. And I've bridged from this near side brush to the other side of the field winding. So red and blue are field windings. There's also a midpoint to them as well for speed control, but I'm going straight across both the field windings for maximum speed. So you've got top two pins in the socket bridged. One of your live wires going to the third pin and then the second live wire going to the bottom pin. Really easy. Now let's put some power to it and see what it does. That's a lot of red. I turned it off before it got too far. really fast. Beautiful. I'm just going to make this socket up as a permanent power lead attachment so you just plug and play with any washing machine I get. <laughs> That's really good. This is a welling motor by the way. Alright, we're nearly finished. Got a new power lead on it for supply. And I made them long enough that I can plug it in at the scrapyard and then run the lead outside to just energise any washing machine that's lying on the pile. Uh, main control box is assembled. Still need to find an amp meter for it. I might actually bolt another box on the side for an amp meter. And before I turn this into a wrapped up taped loom, just thought I'd show you which is which. Got one positive lead going to the uh, bottom terminal on the plug. The uh, second of the two single phase leads going to number three from the top, and the two top ones wired off. Of course, if you really just want to blow the motor up, you might as well just put power straight to the brushes, which is just one and two. Sorry, not one and two, two and three. Ignore the red wire and just go for these two here, which is number, number two and number three but that just burns the motor up, it doesn't really do anything. The motor doesn't spin up like mad or anything like that, so... I'm going to wrap this up with tape and just see what the motor does. We'll see how fast we can get it to go. I reckon it's going to over-rev and probably damage itself. Alright, it's time to test this sucker out. New switch box and everything wired up. how fast we can go.
<laughs> That's a bit of force there. <laughs> the compressor mount stuffed over the output shaft. I had a feeling that would happen. The centrifugal force has just kicked in and it's just come apart. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting the motor to come off the table, but at least it disconnected itself. Alright, one more shot. New rubber bushing. <laughs> Damn, that came off hard. Don't know where it went. This one's got the top of a spray can sitting over it, so let's see what that does. successfully knocked the terminal block off, but I turned the power off before the grommet got loose. Everything seems to be alright. <laughs> Does the motor still work? Yep! 